Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is testing your knowledge to see if you understand the difference between perimeter and area. So let's have a read of what we've got. It says the perimeter of the rectangle is 36 centimeters. Now remember perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside. So all the way around the outside like that. And we are asked what is the area of the rectangle. Well, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Now, first of all, we need to realise that to find the area of a rectangle, we need to do the length times the width. Length times width, or L times W for short. Now, we know what the length of the rectangle is. The length of the rectangle is 12. So the length is 12 centimetres, but we don't know the width. So we can't possibly find the area until we know the width. So we've got, we've got to really set about trying to find the width. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could say, well, the perimeter is the full way round the outside of the rectangle. So the full way round is 36 centimetres. And this means halfway round must be half of 36. And half of 36 is basically 36 divided by 2. So if we, hopefully we can do that in a head and find that it's 18. But if we can't, we could just do a quick bus shelter. So 2's into 3 goes once, remainder 1. And 2's into 16 goes 8 times. So if the full way round is 36, then halfway round must be 18 centimetres. And basically halfway round is 1 of the lengths plus 1 of the widths. So if one of the lengths is 12, then to get it up to halfway around 18, the width must be 6. Because 12 plus 6 equals the 18 centimetres. The other way, other way we could find that it's 6 is to say, well, let's start with the 36. And this side here is 12, so the opposite side must be 12, because opposite sides in a rectangle are the same. So we could subtract 2 lots of 12 from 36. Well, 2 lots of 12 is 24. So if we subtract 24 from 36, we get 6 take away 4 is 2, 3 take away 2 is 1. We are left with 12 centimetres. And this 12 centimetres has to be split equally between the two sides, the left and the right side of the rectangle. So we need to split it equally. So 12 divided by 2, splitting it equally, would be 6. So therefore, you also get that both sides of the rectangle are 6 centimetres. So now we've shown two different ways that the sides of the rectangle are both 6. We now know what this question mark is worth here. The width of the rectangle has to be 6. So we could just replace this width with the number 6, 6 centimetres. And now we know that the area is length times width, therefore it is 12 times 6. So on the rectangle we can now work that out. Area is 12 times 6, and 12 times 6, if you know your times tables, is 72 centimetres squared. Remember, Lengths and widths would be in centimetres, whereas the area would be in centimetres squared. Your final answer, 72 centimetres squared. If you couldn't work that out in your head, of course, you could do a quick column method, 12 times 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Put the 2 in, carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. We still get 72 centimetres squared.